It was a haunting random night in fall. Maybe winter, depending on where you live in the world, I guess. And the Pikmin were sitting by their fire, sharing stories of old and haunting tales to send chills down their already really cold spines. Ah, <sighs> whew. This fire's nice. I like fire. Mmm, fire. Hee hee hee. Well, I'm happy you're enjoying the fire, Red Pikmin. What about you, Ice Pikmin? You're kind of far away. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm doing good. Y you good just standing over there? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm great. Right where I am. Well, somebody's being a bit of a party pooper. Fire. Primal urge. Fire. Ugh, guys, I'm bored. Why are you unattended to, Blue Pikmin? <laughs> Well, there's not much to do out here. It's just a big fire. What do we do with that? It's just fire. I'm gonna die if I touch it. Uh, imagine dying to fire. Yeah, <laughs> up top. Hmm. Hey, I got an idea. What is it, Urple Pikmin? Why don't we, like, tell scary stories or something, you know, around the fire? But it's not even Halloween. I don't know, we didn't really do anything for Halloween this year. Why don't we just, like, I don't know, make an excuse to do it now? I like her idea. We should do that. Alright, well, uh, anybody got some scary stories to start with? Hmm. Ooh, uh, Purple Pigman, why don't we talk about that time at the farm? Oh my gosh, I almost forgot about that. Time at the farm? Why don't you guys ever tell us about this? I'm interested. Uh, I'll inch two inch steps closer to the fire, because I, I want to hear better. Alright, well, it was a dark, cold night in the middle of spring. Me and Purple Pigman were just out patrolling for food. Hmm. I don't know, you think there's anything this way? I don't know. We're gonna have to be careful, though. I know the Bulwarfs get kind of crazy at night. You're telling me. Ooh, this shrubbery is strange. What is this? Be careful, Red Pikmin! You there! Oh! What was that? You there! Uh, Ma'am, who are you? Be careful around these farms. There may be bountiful harvests. However, there are scary monsters that live in these farms. And they threaten to take all your delicious food and your lives and your skin and bones from you. None of my skin and bones. I need those. They're plants. We don't have those. So, I warn you. <laughs> I warn you. All right, well, I guess we should turn back. Wait a minute. What? You're telling me that there's bountiful harvests inside this farm, but there's bad things in it, yet you're going into the farm. Uh, you just want all the food for yourself! <laughs> Let's go after her! <laughs> Ow! Ow! <laughs> Sorry. Uh, oh, food! Uh, uh, ew. It's kind of dead. Is this whole farm just filled with dead plants? Maybe she really was telling the truth. Well, not really. There's no bountiful harvest at all. It's just a dead farm. Why would that bird feel the need to lie to us? I don't know. Maybe this is a trick. Maybe there's more food in the center. Or the other side. All right, let's give it a shot. Uh, I don't see anything. Me neither. This is freaky. Yeah, maybe we should turn back. Everything here's just wilted and gone. Give it a give it a shot, I guess. I can. Nope, nope, bad idea, bad idea. <sighs> All right, let's just go. But just as we were starting to turn back, we heard a noise. <gasps> what was that? Y'all two in my farm. <laughs> Sick em boy. still get nightmares. How can you have nightmares if you forgot? I don't know, I just thought the situation was made up in my head. Mm, I think that story was fake. What? That was real! Why don't we make something like that up just for this fire ghost story thingy? I don't know, you laid out a pretty good reason for making up a scary story. I, I don't know, I thought it was pretty scary. What was that guy again at the end? Was that just Bulborb? This wasn't just regular old tasty snacks Bulborb. This guy was a monster. He was ravenous. He 
charged at us. I, it gives me, it gives me the creeps. I feel like now just by association, I'm just gonna get PTSD if I see that guy again. Okay, okay, enough with you two lame brain story. I give you a real story. Real scary story that will shake the metaphorical socks off of all your little tootsies. All right then, White Pikmin, let's hear it. This all started another stormy night. Actually, it was a normal night. Before I met any of you, I was walking along my way, hiding from the ravenous creatures of the night, as I was a lone wolf. I knew that if they ate me, it would kill them, but they did not know, and so they still hunted me. And while looking for shelter, I came across a strange effigy. Oh, wood. And so, I walked up to it to see what was all of the hubble a bubble a bub. Oh, hello. Anyone home? Hello. Oh, strange place. There is large wood blocks. <gasps> oh, homeless people. I have to get out of here. <laughs> what? <laughs> Who are you, dude? Hello there. You scared me. Don't worry, I come in peace. Oh, uh, okay. Let mm -hmm. me go back to bed now. C get out of my house. Huh? Wait, what'd you say? Oh, uh, <clears throat> yeah, me and this dude here, we're building a house. It's not done, but, you know, uh, we don't really have another place to stay while we're building, so, you know. The house. It's a big house. Oh, big house, you say? And what do you do in these houses? that you live in them. Did, didn't you literally just say that we were, we were homeless people? I do not know what of silly brown mushrooms speak of. <sighs> Whatever. This is, this is our house. I guess if you want to look around, you can. I'm, we're probably going to go back to bed, though. Thank you, kind creatures. I will take a look around. And around the look I take, I did. Stumbled and bubbled my way up the strange uh, wood craftsmanship done in this supposed house. I looked at the inscriptions put on the sides of the wood. Hmm. 457. This must mean something important. I even found a little place disassociated from the other two. Then I decided to take my sleep, my slumber, my sleepy time, nap nap times. Mm. One, two! <laughs> sound! Scary, scary sound. A sound I'd never heard before. Quite heard before. I did not know where it came from. I spiraled around in circles for minutes looking for where the source of this strange sound came from. And when I shuffled off to my friends to find them, to figure out what was going on, they were gone. <laughs> the sound! The sound I heard. It must have ate them, consumed them. The sound with its large, gulptious belly. But these two weren't so vengeful. These two weren't so lucky. They would not poison their victim. They would merely die. Like all good things shall do. Oh yeah, and then I turned around about five feet forward and there was a vortex in front of me. A vortex? Like like a portal? What? You did not find a portal. Yeah, white Pikmin, that's even more hullabaloo than the red and purple Pikmin story. Her head spinning around like a helicopter, Mr. Know-it-all. Guys, guys, lay off him. I'm kind of actually interested to see where this goes. Yeah, keep going, white Pikmin. Thank you. Some civilry around here. Anyways, continue with my story. What was I? Oh, right, the big portal. There was a big portal behind me, and I assumed my friends, the homeless people I met, had went into it. So I'd set my little tippy toes forward, each tippy toe stepping on the wood panels. <coughs> Alright, get out with it! And then, I assumed my friends had fallen in. I took one last look at the manuscripts that were placed on the floor. Circle. Diamond, square, circle, and knew this was my destiny. So I flipped in, Whee! spiraling, spiraling, it was endless spiraling. I spiraled until I couldn't spiral no more. And I spun, and I spun, and I spun. I knew this was nothing I'd ever experienced again, and nothing I'd ever experienced before. I kept spiraling, continuously spiraling over and over again. Once the spiraling had succeeded, and I would spiral no more. I peered my head up, and I saw the most horrifying thing I could. 
large-scale industrial buildings, strange things with circles spitting and spitting out horrid putrid gas to which my, my poisonous spectacles could never see again. A thing called a whale mart. Big M signs. Sidewalks. Terrible public transport. It was awful. It was horrifying. It was indescribable despite the fact that I just described it. And the worst part was, there were these giant, enormous, large, strange, flesh creatures, much like that of Compton Olimar, but also not like him at all. I feared them. I feared for what they may do to me. I feared for what they may do to my people. And so, I went back in the portal. I spiraled, I spiraled, I spiraled again. I spiraled more, I spiraled just as I'd done before. And then I landed right back where I'd stood. Fearful for my life, fearful for what that was, fearful for my thoughts. Was that what the world would end up like one day? With this strange architecture. I feared for that one day. So I ran, ran away as far as fast as I could. Never looked back. I never found that effigy again. Was it a hallucination? Or was it merely the confines of my own dark, twisted perception of reality? I did not know. And I don't think I ever the end. Wow, that one was pretty scary. Yeah, I don't know if I'm still convinced that was real though. It was real! It really happened. I fear for that reality. Thankfully the world is not like that though. I and mean, we live in a silly little grass world with fire and nothing like any of things like that. <sighs> Alright, well, that was a pretty good set of scary stories. Not so fast! That's a bomb! Like, remember, I mean, that's, just, that's just normal ball boards. Take these snack ball boards. The good, dumb, silly one. Look, look over there. Hello, Thurple Flipflin. I think I buzzed my tongue a little bit. Uh, yeah, I'm good. Oh, yeah. Right. Oh, ball board. Okay, that was a pretty real case of PTSD. That story, I think, is pretty real, actually. Strange creature. You may have come to defeat us, but we have been strong, strengthened by our horrifying experiences. You cannot know things that are as horrifying as we have seen. Go away. Oh, you guys telling scary stories? That's cool. Uh, yeah. Hey, where's that flying Pikmin that you're usually with? Uh. Oh, I got a scary story! <sighs> Alright. The wheels on the bus go round and... That's a song! That's not a story! Give us a tale, a tall tale! Oh, right, a story. A scary story. Mm, scratch his chin. Hmm. Mm. <laughs> Smoke is potent. Oh, I have an idea. One day, I was sitting there, sitting very much, sitting all this time. And then, I got really hungry. And I couldn't eat anything. Because you guys won't let me eat you. This story stinks. Yeah, Bob Warp, go eat some, like, meat or something. Stop trying to eat plants. You take me for some kind of meatkin? I don't like those things. They scare me. Get out of here with that future nonsense. I'm a real plant eater like we were all born to be. Mm, I hate to say it, guys. Our scary stories stink. There's not even been a real scary story. Like, okay, the farm stuff was a little weird, but I could have just been some angry guy and some really cracked out ball board. Hey, I don't do that stuff. Hey, I'm not talking about you, pal. I'm talking about a different guy. Aww. And that thing about the yellow white pigment said was kind of freaky, but I, I, I don't even know if that one was real. He, just he could have just made a dream or something. What a real scary story with a real goblin and a real ghoul! And this fake crap that you guys keep making up. Well, too bad we're not gonna ever get one, blue pigment, because. Yeah. Maybe you're right. Can you get your head off mine? Okay. Huh? Wait, who's that? Who's what? Hey, what are you talking about, Mr. Blue Tasty Snack? Shut up, I'm not talking to you. I, I th that sound, it, it, it sounded like, like laughter. Dude, you're hearing things. I'm not hearing things, this was real! Now look who's making things up. Shut up, Ice Pikmin! No? <laughs> huh? <laughs> I'm gonna get to the bottom of this. Oh, hello? You're making me look crazy in front of my friends. Please tell me what's going on. I think he's lost it. Guys, I just don't know what's going on!
Owie. Where am I? <laughs> hey, 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 you. I heard that. I heard that time. I know that was real. Come out. Show yourself. Don't make me get my helicopter blades out on you. I'm, I'm, I, I got that real good. It goes, you bitch. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Hi there. It's a ghost. Huh? I'm not a ghost, silly. I'm glow pigment. Is that why you're all green and bright? How do I know you're not a ghost? Well, I'm not dead, because dead people go up in the sky. They don't live down here. Because if they live down here, then what would be the point of being alive, you know? Yeah, they gotta, gotta gatekeep somehow. That's a strange philosophy for how death works, but whatever. <laughs> Sorry. I just heard you wanted a real scary story, so I wanted to scare your friends. Now you can tell all of them about it. Oh, well, it's not really a story if they, they, all, they all saw what happened. Oh. I guess I didn't really think about it like that. Hey, it's okay, little missy. Cheer up. You did your best. Really? I don't know. I'm always in my dream to work at a haunted house. What's your house? I don't know, actually. Perhaps it's a sign of the future. That was scary. Really? See, you're getting better at it already. Aww. I got it. Right, let's just go back to the campfire, have a good time, and you can be our friend. I like that idea. Yeah, see? Okay, let's go. Whee! I'm freaking out, man! He just got taken by a ghost! <laughs> Push out the barricade! <laughs> Oh, 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 behind it. Good. Now the ghost will be able to see us from this specific angle. Guys, I'm too tall. It doesn't block me. Hi, guys. It's the ghost. Attack feed mode. Yeah. Huh? Ow. Eh. Guys, calm down. It's not a ghost. It's just my friend Glow Pikmin. Hey. Friend? Oh, hey there. Hey, uh, my name's Glow Pikmin. I only really come out at night. Sorry for scaring you guys there. I wanted to give you guys a scary story to tell. It's not a story if we all saw it happen. Yeah, that's what he told me. Oh, I appreciate you trying to liven up our night. That's the most scared I've been in a while. Yeah, for real. Uh -huh. Hey, come to think about it, I actually do have a scary story I can tell you guys. Really? It's not super long, but it is kind of a weird thing I saw one day. Right, well, uh, lay it on us, Glow Pikmin. Yeah, go for it. Well, uh, one day, I was flying along. Doing my old glow Pikmin stuff at night. Until I saw something. Huh? It was strange. It was unlike anything I'd ever seen before at night. Not like a bug or creature. It looked off. It looked like a man, but not really like one. Like one that hadn't been one for a long time. One that was pretending to be one. So I backed off. Backed off slowly. And I never saw that thing again. And I guess the scariest part about that story, I don't know what that thing was. I don't think I ever will. <laughs> Ooh, freaking creepy. Yeah, that was a creepy story. Uh. Did you guys hear that? I I did. Guys. It's the monster! Yeah! Wait, wait, what? Wait, Captain Olimar? <laughs> I finally found you guys. Man, it's been a minute. Oh, who's this? It's Captain Olimar, our uh, old captain. We haven't seen him in a while. What the heck happened to you? Yes, yeah, sir, you look a little strange. Oh, well, you see, after back in summer where I got trapped inside that box, I had nothing to survive on but the wood underneath me and the rain that would fall through every once in a while. I eventually I ate my th way through the floorboards and was able to escape. Sorry if I look a little funny. I think I've gone a little crazy and I haven't shaven in a while. Oh, I didn't know you were a redhead. Yeah, I thought you had brown hair. What are you talking about? Oh. Oh, this is a face-eating parasite. I think I need a hospital. <laughs>